What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock. In the last episode we head up here onto Route 110 and then popped over to Route 13 quickly, 103 rather, um, just to do some stuff and have some battles and today we're going to carry on heading up Route 110 to get ourselves to Morville City. So, um, like we haven't got Surf yet have we? I was, I was looking at that and I was like, we've got Surf, should we get up there? We've already caught a Pokemon for this route, so we don't have to worry about catching anything or anyone or anywhere or anyhow. Let's go and have this battle against this young trainer. I found some cool Pokemon in the tall grass around here. Good to know, dude. I think this guy's got Electrike, if I remember correctly. Electrike is one of them, at least. No, he's got Poochiena. I know Electrike is one of them. I would bet my life on it. Okay? Okay, I'm done. I promise you no, guys. Okay, Iron Maiden, um, is Poochie going to have bite at this level? I'm not even sure. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm not too bad today. Um, long day at uni, but not too bad at all. Um, yeah, pretty much. If you haven't always oh, got bite, he has got bite. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Did nothing. Oh, my God. Mummy is going to get rid of Runaway as well. Not that it was going to help him. But, yeah, uh, if you haven't got, if you haven't already, guys, you know, smash the like button. Obviously, you could wait until the end of the video just to make sure you actually like the video before you like the video, if you get what I mean there. Uh, or you can just, you know, hit it now if you're anticipating their likeness, or if you're just liking it already, or if you just, just want to support the series in general. So, up to you. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But there will be a question of the day on screen as well now, guys. So, it'd be cool if you could answer that down in the comments section, and that is going to be, what do you think of Morville? What do you think of the redev the redesigned Morville for Pokemon and Mega Ram Sapphire? Obviously, the reason they did it is because they need they wanted to emphasize the fact that it was the main city because it wasn't really obvious in the original games that it was the main city in the Hoenn region. It wasn't to me at least. I thought Sutopolis was, but Morville is the main city in the Hoenn region. It's sort of the cent it's in the central region too, so that makes sense as well. Much like um, Lumio City is in the middle of Kalos, and obviously Morville is paired with Kalos as well. So that I guess they had to actually build some stuff into that. Uh, two, but obviously they also did. I got paralyzed, brilliant. And mummy is going to transfer over there. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can I use nightshade? I can't. Okay, cool. Um, they also had to put loads of extra stuff in as well. There was the cafes they had to put in for some training. They had to put in. Um, what else is that it to put in? Uh, I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to go into. Oh no. Uh, they had to put in cafes. There was obviously also extra stuff um, with New Morville, I guess, similar, the way they had to do that, with Morville Hills as well, the sort of up, the upstairs section of Morville. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if I like it or not, to be honest, I'm in, I'm in two minds. Uh, let's go for Fire Spin. Since I can anticipate this thing is going to be pretty annoying, uh, even though it did half, so that's fine. I'm going to resist the Metal Claw, so thank you very much, Aaron. And then you are going to get roasted there, Aaron. Thank you very much. Fire spin finish off. But guys, uh, if you haven't, I don't know if you noticed, guys have noticed already, but you might see a slight change on the thumbnail. The art has changed. The original art I had in the thumbnail was the Aurash trainer with the three starters that my lovely friend Kate drew for me, uh, part of your world. Uh, with, with the world, with, it's really weird. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, she drew that for me. And now I've got some new art, as you can see if you've checked the thumbnail, it's actually uh, a new new drawing with the trainer and May. Uh, so again, that was drawn by her, it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to try and change the art every now and again, just to sort of spice up the thumbnail a bit more. Because I don't want to have the same sort of design over every thing, so every 10 episodes I should be changing it to something that's going on. Because obviously we're meeting May here, and we're going to be seeing May a lot in the coming episodes, so you know. Hey Matt, it's been ages. Nice timing too, I was just searching for Pokemon, you know. My dad is always going on about how don't you used to be more diverse. She's got her eyes closed. Why? Used to be even more diverse way back in the day. He says that there were way more Pokemon, kinds of Pokemon than there are now. There used to be rather. So that's why we do field work, him and me. We really want to find out what happened to those Pokemon in the past. On my journey up to now, I've met a lot of different Pokemon, and I think I've gotten to understand a lot of them too. Me and my Pokemon have really grown. So, how about a little battle? Let's go, May. Boom. Let's go and do it. Obviously, this is her, the, your normal second battle against her. In Omega Ralph Sapphire, and it's your second bout here, so. Slug my first up. I didn't change Pokemon around, did I? I do not remember doing so, so Iron Maiden is indeed up front with a paralysis. Brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna switch out. This thing's level 18. Excuse me. Excuse me. How powerful is the starter Pokemon now? Oh my god. We are a bit under leveled, guys. Um, we are just a bit under leveled. Incinerate. Incinerate. Ooh, okay. Okay, well, I've got no berries, so that's not going to do too much there. I have Rock Tomb here, which is the reason I switched out. Plus, I'm ground type, so I sort of resist moves. Not exactly, but I do. And that's going to lower that speed, too. So next turn... Ooh, Rock Throw. Okay, I was doing neutral, so I'm fine. 
Uh, Incinerate would have done more damage, so I don't know why they used Rock 3 really. But Rock 2 is then going to finish off the Slug map, since that thing is pretty frail and I have the type advantage, so that's all good there. Uh, nice and experienced points though. I mean, it's going to level up to level 17. Awesome. Also, learn Hex. Finally, we learn Hex. Okay. Goodbye, Nightshade. Hex is brilliant for us to have because if we tech set up Toxic Spikes, Hex gets doubled in power uh, to a typical one that are poisoned or whatnot. So that's fun there. Whalemer is coming in next. I shall indeed switch here. I'm going to need to Raidu here. We haven't really got anything against ground type po uh, ground types. Water type Pokemon because we haven't got Grass type, we haven't got an Electric type. It's a bit risky, really, but. Okay, Whelma, let's go. Let's go, Whelma. I'm going to confuse you up. Confuse you up, Whelma. You're pretty bulky, though, so I don't see it. Wow, okay. 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 Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Light screen that, please. Light screen that up so that water gun is going to do half damage now, I think it is. Which is pretty good. Let's see how will I take this. Like a boss. Damn, I'm powerful. Okay. I'm going to keep using Confusion and try and get a confusion, get them confused pretty much. So hopefully that will be, you know, hopefully luck is on our side. May the odds be out. Oh! I tried to scream there, but I couldn't because my voice is still bad. We lost our first Pokemon, Raidu. I'm sorry, Raidu. was a critical hit. <laughs> I can't. I can't do high pitch, um, sort of parts of my voice because my voice is still gone, but I'm sorry, Raidu. We lost the Pokemon. <laughs> okay. I'm sending Windscar up to here to finish up with this Whalemar because otherwise it could become a bit of a pain. I think too many attacks should be enough to. No. This is a bulky Whalemar. Now I'm stuck in Whirlpool. Oh my god. Good thing we have the light screen up. However, that thing is not going to last much longer. Hopefully, May doesn't carry any potions. I don't think May carries many, very many potions, but I guess we can see. That's going to take, yeah, one more turn. Roll out. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. This could go badly. Bit of Whirlpool. And I think, I think this will take it out. I think Wind Attack will take it out. Please, go, please. Yes, well, my gone. Well, my is gone. Now it's just the Marsh Tom. Is it Marsh Tom? No, it's going to be Trico. Uh, or, yeah, it's Trico. No, Grovar has evolved now. Uh, I'm going to go to Hernu for this. This makes it a bit easier. I was expecting Marsh Tomp for some reason. No, don't ask me why. I thought I chose Torchic for whatever reason. So I was expecting Marsh Tomp, which would have been hard because, as I said, we've got nothing against water types. But, of course, there's a Grovar instead. This thing's level 20. Oh my god. How powerful. I want to see the power of, wait, no, there's a thing you can do, if you hold down L or something, you can look at the stuff that moves, L and A, so, yeah, look, you can see the move stuff, this is awesome, uh, power 40, power 35, okay, I think it's probably better just to go for a fire spin, uh, to get that end of turn damage, hopefully we hit the fire spin, we do, awesome, fire spin it up, and then we go for the embers the next turn, so they are going to take some damage starting each turn now for a bit, which is just going to help us out. I mean, over two turns, it's probably do the same amount of damage as an Ember. So, Fury Cutter, that's a terrible move to use against me because I resist it, but I suppose they didn't have much else apart from Quick Attack. And I think the Fire Spin's not going to finish them off here, but uh, we're gonna, Hanu is going to have the pleasure of finishing them off here. Pursuit, I'm not switching out, so that's not going to do too much damage, and the Ember is going to finish off the Grovar, so unfortunately May took our first Pokemon from us uh, with that crit there, but I mean, we guess we can switch it out, um, get some more Pokemon on the team, yes, a new grid level 17 as well, awesome, okay, sweet, Pokemon trainer May was defeated, sucks to be you May, yikes, you're stronger than I thought you'd be, I am, I am indeed, fight me May, Matt, you've been busy training too, haven't you? Oops, but look at us. Our teams look pretty tired. Let's take them, get them taken care of first. Now, obviously, because um, Raidu's dead, we're not going to use it still. So, she also gave me the Dazzy. I hate the Dazzy Machine in this game. It's one of the things I really dislike about this game. I do not like the Dazzy Machine at all. I uh, don't know what you guys think. Uh, probably a question of the day later on. But, uh, I don't like it. But, Raidu's dead. Unfortunately, there goes our cut up. Uh, let's put her down there. Put him rather down there. Um, and Nerfy needs to level up, so Nerfy can go to the front. I'm going to keep it on him him on the team for a bit longer just because to see me going back and then having to come all the way back up here again. But uh, we'll get on with this here and start heading up to Morville. Once we get to Morville, we can switch over the Pokemon there. 
Okay, nothing. No need to battle this electrite. We shall switch out quickly or run away, not rather, rather than switch out. That doesn't make much sense, does it, guys? Okay. Show me a Pokemon, Mr. Collector. Can I show you a Pokemon? Just one look, please. He's got a Lombre and a, a Nuzleaf, so we're probably going to have to switch out, to be honest, because of that Lombre with the water typing. Which kind of sucks, but what can you do about it? Nerfy needs that experience, and Nerfy needs to be at the front of the party to get that experience, obviously. I mean, I guess I could use Fury Cutter, see how that goes. We are one level higher, so that did over half damage. I'm not going to complain. Bubble's not going to do enough to take us out in one turn at least. Yep, less than half. Less than half. Our speed did fall, though, which could be a decisive... No, we're still fast this week. Okay, well, that Lombre's gone. Fury Cutter has now got a plus two, or, well, I don't know how much boost it gets per time you use it, but it's now powered up a bit, so I'm going to stay in against this Nuzleaf here, because I think I can one-shot this thing with that uh, powered-up little Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is base power 20, I think, to begin with, but I'm not sure how much it powers up each time you use it, so it's going to growth to raise its attack and special attack. Fury Cutter, let's go. Yep, that's the one to kill. I mean, we're level 17 now as well, so there's a bit more power there. But that's awesome. Almost level 18 for Nerfy now. Collector Edwin was defeated. I wanted to complete my collection. He's got six Pokeballs there, but he's only got two Pokeballs. That makes no sense. Uh, unless he's just got empty Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. That would make more sense. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put up Luke to the front because we haven't seen Luke so far this episode. So let's get it going and carry along this route. I, I, don't really, I really don't like this route. It's too closed off for me and it's too much grass. So I just don't like it, man. Uh, foreseeing your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Uh, yeah, you can because you're a Psychic type user and I have a Sneasel. Psychic Edward's got an Abra and it's an Abra as well. Abra is going to have hidden power here because they can't have an Abra at tele with Teleport at this stage in the game. But I have Fake Out and Pursuit, which will definitely zip. F fake Out and Thief, rather, rather. Rather, rather. Rather, rather. F f fake Out always get... Oh, of course, it's got Inner Focus. Okay, then. Super effective. Almost killed Luke. Oh, my lord. Are we faster? Yeah, we're, we're a Sneasel. Of course, we're faster. Thief is going to finish them off. I should have just gone for Thief first turn. That would have definitely killed him, but I forgot about Inner Focus. Completely forgot about Inner Focus there. But Luke has leveled up to level 18. There's a close call there. I don't know what hidden power that was, whether it was fighting possibly, or fire, or rock, or something else. I don't know. But I did almost kill Luke, so so watch out for that. Okay, let me throw up Windscar to the front. We have seen Windscar today, but only once, so let's get going. And now we are across and past this route, as you can see. Well, there's one more battle here to do against this fisherman. Hey, don't sneak up behind me when I'm fishing. Sorry, dude. It's just just the way how I roll. But, guys, one thing we can do when we get to Morville is get a bike. Hallelujah. A bike is probably my, my most wanted item in this egglock because it, it's so fast. It moves so fast. Whereas normally, or now, I'm stuck with running around, which is really annoying because, one, I have to hold down the... B button to actually run until I have to just run it's, it's slower okay guys uh, let's quick attack to finish off the tentacle and we'll see what comes up next because Windscar is going to level up from this to level 18 at least I hope it is because that's you know almost there, there we are level 18 sweet 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 what's this, this attack stat looking at right now 35 is not brilliant but speed is better Endeavor I am not going to learn Endeavor because I don't like Endeavor as a move so Whalemo is coming in oh god this thing caused us problems earlier uh, Iron Maiden is going to go in, and it has Hex now. We can't poison it, unfortunately. If we had Will-O-Wisp, it might be good, um, rather than the Disable, but we can't do anything to it. So Hex is going to be underpowered, unfortunately, because we can't force the switch out. But we have got the Quick Claw. Let's see how much damage Hex is going to do. It's going to do reasonable damage, though, even without the, uh, the double, in double, up double up in power. Mummy is going to get rid of their Oblivious, so they can get infatuated now. Not that we're going to try and infatuate them at some point. Uh, but I think two more Hexes is going to finish them off. We avoided the rollout. Hex is going to pull through. It could be a crit as well. Nope, no crit. The world doesn't like me that much, guys. Okay. Rollout is going to hit me this time, but it's going to do no damage at all. Iron Maiden, this, this power is really defensive, man. But that Whelmer is going to get wiped by Hex. Nice and crit there, even we didn't need it. But Iron Maiden is just you know, adding insult to injury. Thank you very much, Dale. I lost. Drat. Drat indeed, Dale. Drat indeed. Okay. Let's go and grab these leper berries quickly because they could be helpful. I like leper berries because um, they restore PP. 
So every now and again, they're better to use in ethers because ethers are a limited amount, whereas lepers can be harvested, you know, and stuff. So, you know, I, I don't like using my ethers at all. I always prefer to use leather berries, if at all possible. But there we are. Harvest some more berries there, and that's us done on this route. This is the cycling road here. Again, we can't go in there quite yet because we don't have a bike, but we will do soon. Let's go inside Morval. So, as I said, guys, the question today is, what do you think of Morval City with the redesign? Let me know down below in the comment section. Wow, so this is Morville City. <laughs> you sure seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what would you like to do? Do you want to grab a bite to eat the Morville food court? Or maybe we should get you a bike of your own at Ride or Cycles. Would you like that? I bet the exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is... Yep, straight ahead this way. Just through the inner courtyard. Hey, what? Hey, wait! Wally! Yep, Wally just... Wally just... Well, he just doesn't care at all. Okay, you're a youngest of four sisters. See, these are, these are the people that turned up in the demo. But here is the map of Morville City, guys. Bit of a confusing map, but, you know. There we are. Sweet. First up, first things first, let's go and put Raidu away in the dead box, since we have lost our first Pokemon now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's a shame, but stuff like this happens in those lot, guys. But you gotta learn to work past it. Okay. Let's go ahead quickly, grab the organized boxes, and the dead box. Raidu unfortunately becomes the first victim, that's what, I was, that's what I was looking for, of the egglock. Okay, so who can we switch up? We have some good team members we have here. I mean, Krista is a no because we switched out uh, Nimega recently because of our water type weakness. Compi is a possibility, but that would be another flying type, so that would be free flying types, which isn't brilliant. Uh, Terra is a no. Bob, we can evolve Bob to whoever we want because it's, it's a... Um, Neutral nature. I don't know who to evolve Bob into. We could go for a Leafeon because that would help against um, water type Pokemon. And we could go back to Petalburg for to evolve that. No Mega, we switched that already. Barney, possibly. Rupee, the Sableye. Uh, we have Dark type already there, so. Bugs, the Baneri, we already have a normal type. Or two normal types, rather. Squall, the Shinx, is a possibility as well. I think it's between Squall and Bob, to be honest. Shinx and, um, and Eevee slash Leafeon. Um, normal types. Yeah, we're going to go for Squall. Could have put Shinx on the team because Shinx seems to just well, Eevee is a normal type. We have two normal types on the team already, so I'm gonna quickly grab this O Power here first. I shall hear your story. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. And give me an O Power. I can use the Speed Power level one. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, right now, if we go and I guess we get a bike first because bikes are glorious. I need a bike so much, or I want a bike so much. Go and grab one of these from Rider. I'm going to get the Mark bike because just because of the fact I want speed, please. I, just, I need speed so much. Yes, yes, I came from far away, Little Root Town. So give me a bike. Okay, which one do I want? I'm going to have the Mark bike. I haven't tried out the Mark bike in Omega Ralph Sapphire yet. The only one I've used so far has been the Arcro bike. So, going to quickly. Um, Register the mark bike. I'm not going to register it. Well, I guess I registered the Dazzling Machine just for the lols. Not that I'm going to use it too much. But let's try out the mark bike. See how fast it goes. Pretty fast, to be honest. I, don't, I can't really notice the difference between the Arcro bike, to be honest. But, uh, you know, stuff that happens. Okay. Um, in terms of what there is to look at here, there is. Okay, I'm going inside here for some reason. Uh, you give me a TM, I think. No, that's a Whisper. I don't want to speak to Whisper. Nope. Okay. You want to teach some moves, and you. Okay. Nope. Maybe you. Yes, that's what I want. TM forty-eight round. I knew there was someone in here that gave me a TM or some of some description. But the others just do stuff like the guy there teaches uh, Meloetta Relic, Relic Song and such. So apart from that, not very helpful. Um. What's this here? Oh, this is the food court, of course. I've never been in the food court. Um, I guess I can use that for training myself, because I obviously need to train up Shinx. Uh, but I shall not do that in the video. I should do it off-screen. Okay, so you stop. You, you don't stop moving immediately. This is a move tutor. This is a move tutor. This is a move tutor. That's the middle of Morville. This is a cafe, or it's a Pokeball above it. I can't. Inverse battle shop, of course. Okay. And this one over, nothing over here is there. Let's go up here because I believe there's a rare candy I can get um, up on the top floor. Damn, the bike, this bike moves fast. Okay, I can definitely notice the difference, to be honest. But the guy is going to appear here. Here he is. 
Okay, hand, please. I got a nugget, and he's gonna run off. It's the nugget man. There we are. Sweet. See you, dude. Peace. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can get up here, to be honest, or any more items and whatnot. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, you, maybe, I think you give something? Yes. 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 Ha! It's a poker toy, which is useless, but I got it anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go on to the route to, oops, let's go down the flight of the stairs again. Um, we're going to finish up today's episode by going on the route over here. Just to clear up some trainers. In the next episode, I'm probably just going to clear the routes around Morville and go to Verdant Turf. I don't really want to be doing anything too, and obviously cycling road as well. Uh, do a bit of training before we battle the gym because training is always nice. Plus, we're under leveled, so that's definitely a fact to look at. Uh, I don't know who's up front in the team. Did they even heal up? I can't remember healing up, but we'll see. Windscar's up front. Okay, Windscar. You are not healed up, but that's fine. Windscar can take out his Oddish and then switch it out. We are, we are really under-leveled, to be honest. We are pretty under-leveled. I mean, this level-wise is probably the level I faced um, Brawly at in my basic playthrough. Yeah, um, I can't really level up school this episode because it's just too low-leveled, so I'll probably do that off-screen. Um, with some rematches, because rematches are actually really helpful for leveling up. I do like them quite a lot. Okay, Hanu. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ember away on Roselia. Burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Poison sting. You suck. You suck. It's gonna poison. No, it's not gonna poison me. Thank the Lord. The one of the times I say I'm gonna get poisoned, I don't get poisoned. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that because I always seem to get poisoned when I don't want to be. Okay. And Hanu is gonna level up to level 18. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. I remember Lady Rose was defeated. Oh dear me, I seem to have lost. Yes, Lady Rose, you seem to have lost indeed. Okay, uh, there are two battles to have here, one against a fisherman, one against a guitarist. Uh, I guess we'll go for Nerfy against the guitarist first up. Let's do it. Come on, guitarist man, let's battle ya. Let my mod mod melody rock your soul. Actually, maybe this guy doesn't battle us, not sure. I guess we'll see. You are challenged by guitarist Dalton. Magnemite comes through. Okay, Magnemite. We haven't really got anything against Magnemite, to be honest, so it's not brilliant. Um, we have a type advantage, though. Let me go for knockoff, because Steel no longer resists Dark in Generation 6, so that's going to do, yep, decent damage, half damage. Supersonic is going to miss, and we can then knock off to finish off the Magnemite. Haha, -ha, thank you very much. Oh, come on. It didn't die. Sonic Boom is too powerful a move, in my opinion, just because it does a, a set, or oh, not, really, not really too powerful, I guess, it just does set damage, so you have to watch yourself. It's, much like dra it's, it's basically half a Dragon Rage, it does 20 damage. But, Nerfit is going to level up to level 18 as well. Pretty cool there, and what's coming next? Whismer. Whismer, Whismer, Whismer. I'm going to send out Iron Maiden's the only one that can actually let one needs to level up rather, but it can't do any damage to it, so let's go to Hanu. Hanu, I don't even know if I'm saying this name right still. Is it Honu, or Honu, or Hanu, or Hanau, or I don't know. I don't know where the name comes from either, so who knows. Okay, Whismer, let's do this. Unnerve. I doubt you've got a berry though, so... I, I'm going to use Ember here. It's going to do probably less than half. No, over half. Sweet. I want to see if Headbutt is more powerful than Ember. I need to check out what Hanu's best stat is, whether it's the tackle or uh, special attack, because it could be either. I could see it going either way. I really just do not know. Goodbye, though, Whismer. Goodbye, indeed. Okay, Guitarist Dalton was defeated. La la la. La la la. He says he does some noises and such. Okay. Let me put out I put Iron Maiden up to the front. And you, you, yes, you do battle me. For fishermen, the key equip is quick. Kit equipment is key, but for trainers, the key ingredients are Pokemon Heart, of course. I've got into the, in the into the point in this illness where my nose has gotten blocked up. It makes breathing a bit hard. So, of course, it's a Carvanha against Iron Maiden. Of course, of course, it is. Okay, well, I see how much Hex is going to do. I doubt it's going to do much though. Assurance, oh dear, almost killed me. Mummy is going to get rid of their rough skin though, so that means even if we have to go and attack someone, use the physical attacker, we are not going to take any damage there. It's not going to do much damage though. So I have to switch out, lovely. Uh, let's go into Windscar, who can probably just whip it up with a wing attack to finish up this battle here. Sucks to be Iron Maiden, but what can you do guys? What can you do? Intimidate is going to help us too, because they are a physical attacker. 
And they're going to focus energy. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Let me wing attack and we'll see how much damage it does to Carvan Heart. No rough skin, so thank you very much, Mummy, for that. One of the only times it's actually helped me. And in, even in this case, it wasn't very helpful because it's not like rough skin was going to kill me. I uh, was beaten in heart. You were beaten in heart. Okay. But that is this area done. I can get an item here, though. Heart scale. Fair enough. I can predict where half the hidden items are, to be honest. So you are not going to bat me, though, are you? No. Just saying about surf. And there's a stardust we can pick up. One thing I'm going to do, though, before we finish up the episode is go and see Wally in front of the gym to battle him and destroy him uh, before we finish up the episode because I want to do that now so we can spend the next episode or two clearing out routes around Marvel City. Okay. Going to quickly heal up, though, because I want to use Iron Maiden because Iron Maiden needs leveling up. So get uh, back to full health points and we should be good. Okay. Nice and heal. Thank you very much. Restore Pokemon for health. And we hope to see you again. So do I. Uh, I don't know why I started saying that. I don't know, it was one of my Let's Plays. I started saying it, and I can't stop saying it now. Okay, right. Let's go to the gym. What's going on, boys? What's going on? I'm in front of them now. Uncle, I'm begging you. I want to challenge this gym to see how much stronger I've become. Please, you'll let me, won't you? Now, hold on, Wally. It's certainly true you've grown a lot, quite a lot stronger alongside your Pokemon. But don't you think that jumping right into a challenging a gym might be pushing it? Mm-mm. I'm not pushing it. If it's me and my Rod, so we can beat anyone. Oh, look. Ah, Matt. Rod and I have gotten a lot stronger since we first met, growing together. And I want to prove that, that to you, to my uncle both, Matt. Please, help me once more, and have a battle with me. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Thank you, Matt. He's so kawaii. Okay, here we go. We're going to win this, Rod. We have to. <sighs> Yeah, you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win, Rolly. I have six Pokemon. You have one. And I, does Rolls even know anything other than teleport? Still, I don't even know. Oh well. Let's do this. Wall uh, Wally Rolls rather. Let's do this. Hex is probably just gonna two hit kill it. So I'm fine with that. Let's hex it up, boys and girls. Nice and super effective. I've almost one it killed. Magical leaf. Okay, this magical leaf. That's powerful. Of course, Rolls learns that. I can't I forgot it learns magical leaf this earlier. But unfortunately, Rolls is. Still no match for Iron Maiden, so bopped and kapopped. Yeah, make no sense, but you know, I don't make any sense, so shoot me. Thank you very much. Pokemon Trading Wally was defeated. <sighs> wow, you really are strong, Matt. I am indeed, Wally. I am indeed. Oh dear. Uncle, I'll go back to Vernantef. Matt, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to battle your Pokemon. I can't become a true trainer like that. Not really. Wally, there's no need to get so down on yourself. Why? What's what's keeping you from becoming stronger? Nothing is. All you need to do is keep growing. Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Yes, Uncle. Matt. I, I'm definitely... I'm getting much stronger. Much, much stronger. I feel like I learned a lot from, that, from just one Pokemon battle with you. About my own limits and Rolts's. So, um, that's why... Matt, if it's alright, could I... Could I call you my... Ah, never mind, so sorry. Oh, there's nothing, please forget about it. I love how they made Wally so, like, adorable. G goodbye Oh my god. It's too kawaii. It just dawned on me that you must be a young man who kept an eye out for Wally when he called us Pokemon. So it's you we have to thank for Wally becoming so positive about the future. Thank you. Ah, you're here. Take this. I want you to have it. It's a bit of a thank you. I got... HMO6, Rock Smash, which we need to beat the next gym to actually use. Even if there are obstacles in your path, I think you'll be able to break through them, especially if you use Rock Smash there. Nice dude, nice. We should head back now, but if you have ever have the time, I'd love it if you could stop by our home in Verdanturf. I'm sure Wally would enjoy it too. We look forward to seeing you. Okay, dude. But guys, that is where I'm going to end up today's episode for now. I can't see myself, I don't like it. But if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and answer the question they saying what you think about the new Marvel City down in the comment section below. But guys, in the next episode, we shall explore the routes around Marvel before maybe start the gym. Who knows? But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye, my friends.